Hey everyone, in anticipation of the new Tonex effects that are coming out next month, um, I decided I wanted to see if I could make my Ampero uh, control MIDI controller set up so that I could tell when a toggle was turned on or off. And so what my plan was is that I'll send the MIDI messages from the control to the Tonex to say, turn on delay, turn off delay, turn on mod, turn off mod. But the only problem is there's no display currently on the Tonex unless they surprise us and put something on there to say whether or not a particular effect is on or off. I started up this little Arduino project and I wanted to show you uh, what I've accomplished so far with that. So I'm gonna switch over to uh, my other device here so that you can uh, check out what I've got. So if you're not familiar, uh, Ampero Control uses a mobile app to program the MIDI. So I basically go in and assign each button. So say button one, I've set to send a particular MIDI message on say channel six, and then um, that toggles a control message on. And then if I press that one again, it sends the same control message just with a value of zero to shut it off. This is kind of what it all looks like. I haven't put it in an enclosure yet, but that would be next. All right, so here is my Ampero control. Um, I got this for like 90 bucks from the Sonic Cake uh, eBay store, brand new, and it's a simple MIDI controller. Then here I've got just a piece of uh, 3D print printed plastic that I've got with some uh, LEDs. It's kind of a testing bed that I've got. And then over here I've got an Arduino Uno. Uh, each button I've programmed with a toggle um, so that First click, it sends one MIDI command, so it's a control change on a particular channel, and then control change message one, and then a positive value to say turn on that channel, and then I press it again, and it shuts off, it sends a control channel on that same value, and then it sends a control change on that same number with a value of zero to shut it off. So, turn this on, and it sends that to the Arduino Uno, which then controls the LED. Of course, this green one doesn't work because that LED is burned out. So what I will have when I finally put this in enclosure, I will have four separate LEDs so that I can program each one to control a separate on off toggle. Then I can pair up those commands with the MIDI commands to the tone X to turn on or off a given effect. So I figure I'll have so I figure I'll have one for the compressor, one for the delay, one for the modulation and one for the reverb. And then this can just be my effects controls for the tone X so that no matter what patch I'm using, I can turn on or off the effects on that particular patch. So I hope this inspires uh, some creative ways you're gonna use your tone X when the new effects come out here in November. And, uh, and if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching and be sure to check out my other videos, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time.